Are you planning on getting a Boston Terrier? But now you need to know, what am I gonna name my new Boston Terrier puppy? In this video, I'm gonna share with you five tips on how to properly name your Boston Terrier. And be sure to stay to the end because I'm gonna share with you a hundred different name ideas to help you out on your search for a new name. Coming up. Everybody. Welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of BostonTerrierSociety.com. Over there is Bella, my Boston of over a decade, and she's gone into her little cubby hole, which that's an awesome bed, by the way. But neither here nor there. So you're thinking about getting a Boston Terrier, or you know you're getting a Boston Terrier, and now you're trying to figure out a name for your brand new puppy. Well, in this video, I'm just gonna share with you five tips on how to name them, and then I'm gonna share some different name ideas that I got from the Boston Terrier Society Facebook page. Now, before I get into the tips or anything else, just know if you go to the show notes below, I actually have thousands of different Boston Terrier names that you can choose from, and they're divided in a way where it's male and female, and then it's divided alphabetically. So just pick the name that you wanna get. So if you know you want your Boston Terrier girl to have a name that starts with an A, then just find it in the show notes below and you can click on it and then get some different name ideas. So now let's get into the tips. Okay, on to tip number one. The very first tip in naming a Boston Terrier is you wanna pick a name that has one or two syllables. This will make it easier for your Boston to understand its name. Kinda of like Bella here, right? Two syllables, I'm not good in English, but you remember the whole like clap whenever you hear a syllable, so Bella. So two syllables, a one syllable would be like if we named her Bell. Another one syllable name might be Moose. Try to stick within one to two syllables. And remember, use the clap method, just like you learned in English class. Bella, two syllables. Tip number two is choose a name that doesn't sound like a normal command. You know, like set, stay, but the big one is no. So you might not wanna name your Boston Terrier Mel Joe, right? Because it sounds a lot like no. Avoid the names that are gonna be near or similar to the commands that you might be saying in the future. Tip number three is you can actually wait a few days before you name your Boston Terrier. Bella here, she had a previous name. I think her name was Sasha. Don't quote me on that. My wife's not here to ask, but I'm pretty sure it was Sasha. And we changed hers to Bella. Now we knew it before we went and got her, but by all means, you can wait a couple days, get to know their personality, get to know how they are as a person right, before you actually name them. And that's what I've done with my kids too. So both Sophia and Samuel, we didn't know their names until birth. And I think that's also a good approach for your Boston Terrier as well. Take it slow and just see what comes to you after interactions with your new puppy. Tip number four is any longer name that you're thinking of, just try to figure out what the short name is because maybe you might not like it. You know, I go, my, my legal name is Donald, right? But some people call me Don and that's just weird. Think about that as, you're naming your Boston Terrier puppy. Like what is the shortened version? And if people say that shortened version, are you still gonna like the name? So keep that in mind. Tip number five, whenever you do see a name, think of the nicknames that come with it. Bella here, this is kind of the nickname we've given her and Sophia calls her Bella Boo all the time. I call her Bella Boo. Well, I was the one that originally called her Bella Boo. No idea why I call her that, but yep, Bella Boo. And she goes by that name. So think of all the different nicknames. So if you have a name Spot, Maybe you can then think of like Mr. Spot, Spotty, Spots, all those different nickname iterations. So you have different ideas to choose from. And then tip number six, this is just a bonus tip, just something I literally just thought of. As far as naming your Boston Terrier, get with the family. And once you have these different name ideas that you're okay with, put it out there, ask friends, ask family, and see what their vote is. Okay, now I wanna go ahead and get into the 100 different name ideas. Once again, I conducted a poll on the Boston Terrier Society Facebook group, or more of like, you know, questions and answers, but just asking what is the best Boston Terrier name? And I had literally hundreds and hundreds of comments. I just chose the best hundred, and that's what I'm gonna share with you. But once again, if you're trying to get more name ideas, go to the show notes below, because in literally alphabetical order, you know, all 26 letters for male and all 26 letters for females, different Boston Terrier names that you can check out on the Boston Terrier Society website. So let's go ahead and get into the 100 names. In no particular order, I'm just gonna go ahead and list out the names. Just close your eyes and, you know, if you're getting a boy or a girl, just close your eyes and think about these names. See if it rings a bell and it's something that you're interested in. Number one is Bella. We have Lola, Murphy, Winston, Tess, Gomer, Molly, Emily, Tiny, Piglet. Those are the first 10. Then we have Bugsy, Charles, Annie Oakley, Odie, Lucy, Louie, Igor, 
Fair, King, Kodiak, those are the first 20, Beethoven, Bell, Rocco, my favorite, Mr. Biscuits, Pearl, Babe, Bubba, Bat Boy, Harley, Zeus is number 30, Hamlet, Daisy May, Patsy, Rags, Bentley, Odie, Muttley, Brady, Merlin. Number 40 is Thomas Oliver, Sheldon Cooper, Tucker, Albus, Tilly, Tessie, Stella, Rowdy, Lulu, Wilbur. Number 50 is Fenway, Josie, Susie Q. Another one of my favorite is Good Golly Miss Molly, Boots, Miss Presley, Hazel, Mason, Annie Rose, Tulip. Number 60 is Piper, Hamilton, Mr. Tux, Oreo, Moose, Gracie Lynn, Judge, Petey, Gus, Lexi, number 70 is Lindy, Rex, Duke, JJ, Ladyboy, Tank, Elwood, Roxy, Quincy, Luna, number 80 is Jenny, Judy, Junie, Ivy, Olive, Ruby, Candy, Minnie, Delilah, Monty, number 90 is Maggie, Penny, Lindsay, Mackenzie, Sunshine, this next one I thought was funny and it was on there, so Fathead. I don't know who would name their Boston Terrier Fathead, but hey, it works. Some people like it. Snickers, Dakota, Boris, Frida, and number 100 is Maddie. Question of the day, what do you think is the best name for a Boston Terrier? It doesn't have to be on the list that I just said. It can literally be any name that you can think of. Put it in the comments below, and then that can just be another resource for people who are trying to get name ideas for their Boston. They can go check out the comments below to get those name ideas. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel just so you can get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. And once again, if you want more name ideas, check out the thousands that I have listed in the show notes below to help you name your Boston Terrier puppy. Now, if you wanna learn more about Boston Terriers and just the interesting facts about Bostons, you can check out this video right here or one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston. Right, Bella Boo? She says yes.